Tuesday morning, Rob has been changing the chipper teeth. Uh, he's took these ones out. These are ready for getting picked up to be sharpened, like spoons now. Like razors when they go in. That must have took an impact, that, because it's squashed the um, the bolts that set the, the depth of it. Can't really see anything on it, though. Maybe it was there. So they'll collect them all. I think they charge, charge about eight or ten quid now to sharpen them, which is perfect. It's, it's hardly worth doing it ourselves, although we will try with that grinding wheel. Uh, this is this is some that have been sharpened, I think. Razors, so it's just just changed them. We've got a 33mm, 33 well, I can't see it, in the hole saw to clean the wood chip out of the holes where the nuts are for, to get the impact going in. And he's got his little stool he can sit on up there as well. Got me out on because it's a bit chilly. Just going to do a little bit of spraying. Then I've got to meet the... Well, no, I'll probably meet them first. I turn it to look at the, the shed that's been done. They want to take some pictures and do a video. These are some VF tyres, I think. Go on one of the grain trailers ready for the open day to show the tyre comparison because one will be on VF and one won't be. So they've just arrived today. Uh, I still feel rubbish. I'm blaming Rhonda for making me eat a piece of salt and pepper battered squid or whatever it was. I was like, no, no, you're right. I don't like seafood. I just don't think it'll agree with me. Anyway, it didn't. So yesterday I just drank a glass of orange juice and a bowl of porridge before I went to bed. That is all I've eaten since days of today. It's Tuesday. This is Monday night. Sunday night. Right, fire this up, put a bit of water in, get a bit of glyphosate, go and spray off the field that Morgan's actually drilling at the moment, just in case the pre-em, we don't it'll get a weather window for the pre-em and end up um, with this wheat coming up. So I just want to kill any grass weeds in it because it's quite susceptible to brome that field. And I don't think we've got any pre-em left because we didn't want to order too much in case we couldn't get drilling. And then we just sat on the shelf going out of date. Real is here on brand in a red shirt. So we're gonna do a little bit of filming about the shed and the sheeting. So we're a healer, is that what you pronounce it? Yes. Yeah, because I can't spell. We've only met seven times. Yeah, I know, I know, yeah, but I'm just checking because I know how, <laughs> I, how we, okay. I can't spell. Um, didn't want to be on camera, but we've just got her on camera and we've just done a video about the, what's it called? Farm tech. Farm tech roofing, which, does farm tech mean it's a slightly different profile? Or is it? It's just the name. It's, it's just, just the name. The name. It, 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 imagine it's profile seven. Oh, right, I yeah. see. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so, obviously, we put the roof on the other week. Well, Roger did. He took the old asbestos off, put the roof on. Then we've done the side clad in green, and I think it looks great because it's not dead shiny and it just blends in with the background. And um, if people want to use that, where did they get it from? So, they can go on our website, eternal.co.uk. Um, they can put in their postcode. Um, what? That's <laughs> how you spell it, isn't it? Oh, I well, see, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, Oh, you're looking at my nose. Um, and then put in their postcode and see the closest dealer to them. Um, or you could you give us a call and we'll tell you who the best person to call. Yeah. There you go. And if you mention me, you get 50% off. <laughs> oh, I wasn't quick enough, but there's Rob going past with the contract now. Shed filming finished. I've just come now to see Rob setting off with this. Can you see the wheelings have got some water in where the trailers have been? And obviously, it's not particularly level. But if we get any more rain, another inch tomorrow, it'll just fill up with water and we'll probably never get on it. So he's going to try and level it off now. It's, at least it's solid-ish. I just sat on my rod for a bit. Don't know if you can see the size of some of the ruts. But you wouldn't be doing this with a wheel tractor today. amazing how level that just does that then we may it may do the headlands twice because they are extra rough and also if it's got a little bit of this breeze between the first pass and the second pass some of these clumps will dry might get it a bit flatter but the important thing is is to pull anywhere where a trailer's driven where it's kind of like that because the water will just lie on that and not soak in. You can see 
seeing this wheel in here actually where it's only just soaked away so not only is he leveling it to the water if you imagine when it rains now any water that lands on that clod there will just run down here and anything that lands in here won't soak in because it's flat and compacted so by ripping through it but the wind's not on the camera by ripping through it now when it rains it'll just land where it's landed and soak in over the whole field rather than moving to the low points and creating puddles I mean the camera's really rubbish let me put it in a different mode that's in cinematic mode does that show the depth a bit more of how deep some of these ruts are that's my boot and that's like two foot deep I think it does doesn't it in normal mode it's a little hard to see how high that lump is there one two so this this is where the quad tracks are I mean that's a little hollow there you see it's scratching a little bit but the water's maybe run to the bottom let's look at this ground now how many wheelings are in it now they're all pulled up and it's flat and these clods they'll bake in the wind and the sun and give us something to drive on then if we leave it too fine and it rains it'll just end up like a big pudding well hold on just ran up the field to show you the sailing at the headland unbelievable that machine in it and the quad trap being able to pull it you know, I've only been here 10 minutes and I've only done a quarter of the field Stoper remembers about that big concrete manhole in that grass because it can bend your header if you're not careful right I'll go to another field now it's in the bottom of a dip so it shouldn't be too breezy and I'll spray off these grass weeds where Morgan's sowing wheat. Yeah, I'm just spraying this here now. It's obviously got a little bit of rye grass in it. A few other bits of rubbish. Morgan's actually drilled it already. So we'll put a pre-emergence spray on or maybe a post-emergence because I've got a bit of glyphosate in this. And we might get some bad weather and I might not get on it for a week or so. But it could be germinated by that point. I'm just going to wipe it clean now this is like the disinfectant on your worktop shall we say and uh, the wheat seeds are underneath it ready to pop through and they get a bit of moisture and a bit of warm and this will be winter wheat there's a testify patch of bills there as well looking just as good as ours over the hedge through the hedge this was beans last year looking over the edge looks like Bill's OSR has survived this year with no issues from flea beetle as well there's a totally totally green pheasant or a blue pheasant would you call it <laughs> yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash out now so and the tank wash on and um, that should fill the tank now from zero do a bit of a rinse wash that out and then do another one I'll tell you what let's go and have a look at bills oh it's running off have a look at bill and joe's osr through the hedge i think they're sowing some buckwheat with it or some fenugreek to disguise the smell of it 
to the flea beetle. Looks like the mice and rats out the hedge line of eating the first six meters. Pigeons have already been giving it a hard time and some slugs. But yeah, it's got a companion crop of buckwheat in it. It's all there though, isn't it? Looks good. Compared to last year, where everything was just completely eaten. Something's been eaten. Something's been burrowing and eating there, maybe. Little holes. Oh, flock of geese going over. That's what happens running near the river. No, if I was him, I'd be pleased with that. Rob's fur chomped through that field. Got a lot left other than the headlands. All while I've just been spraying up the road. So it'll do, because it is going to rain tomorrow. This was yesterday's quiz question. It is, in fact, the plastic housing for the Claydon drill for an Accord metering unit. So we blocked the drill, didn't we, drilling the beans and didn't notice and cracked it around here, I think. So that's the new part. So Ian has the reason why it's been dry for the last few days. <laughs> why in these tubes. The, Where are they? The new ones are in the brew room. All right, I'll go and find them. Should have had one of these in Portugal. Hey, it's good, isn't it? It's supposed to be windproof. Is that this extra bracing, maybe? This, well, this is the better one. Carbon fibre shaft like, as well. Yeah, like a proper. Don't forget, check it out on the website. Link below, as always. Ow. That is why it stopped raining. Yeah, the ideal uh, alternative to need me. Yeah. Depending on today's birthday bumper, but Simon Morton is on, Mr. 939 himself. Jeremy Whiteman is 13. Scott Nicholson's 47. And Jack's Redout, I think it's pronounced, is 2. And we're now at £78,417. Plus gift aid. Happy birthday, everyone on there and anyone else whose birthday it is today. It's looking a little bit sad, isn't it? Maybe when the depth of winter comes, if we get the tractor run out of the way, we'll get on with that once the 1690s back together. I tell you to put the birthdays on the, on the bumper before midday. Um, so hopefully I've caught them all because it is one o'clock now. I've got to dash for a train for something tomorrow. So uh, I'm going to end the video now. A bit of farming content for once again. Sorry it's not been recently or it's been a bit of a rerun. Um, feeling a little bit better though. I still haven't eaten anything other than drunk a cup of coffee today. And maybe get some sandwiches on the train. But yeah, uh, I just feel like I've been ill for like two weeks or something. If you made it this far, Thanks, and um, I'll see you tomorrow.